Some people ask me what I love. And you know what I say? Chemistry. You see those boys right there? They're the Hydrogen Brothers. And together, we are the H2O. Today, we are doing an experiment, boys. And it involves chocolate. We got six three-inch pieces of paper towel right here. Take one paper towel strip and dip it in the water, but it should be wet, but not dripping wet, like so. See? Make sure the chocolate is still wrapped. Get one of them and wrap it very tightly with the wet paper towel. Get it nice and tight. Now you got the chocolate wrapped in the wet paper towel. Next, get the other chocolate and wrap it with the dry. As so. And now we have upside down glass that holds the candies in place. Now we blow dry it for five minutes straight from above on full heat. <laughs> Five minutes are over. Let's see what happened. First, ooh, this is the dry. Seems a little moist, JK. It's all, it's pretty hot. You can pretty much, it's all melted. Look at that. There we go. You see that? What the heck? Now, if you get this one. It was not affected at all, as you can see. Still rock solid, like a nice chocolate. For the first trial, the dry paper towel, the chocolate was pretty much melted. It was really soft and easy to squeeze. The wet paper towel made the chocolate stay the same, and it was rock solid. The same thing happened for the next two trials. The final results, all the same pretty much. The reason the wet chocolate didn't melt as fast as the dry chocolate is because the wet paper towel acted as a cooling system. It's almost like when you sweat, it cools down your body, and the dry one just didn't work. Another way you can compare this to chemistry is like with sweating. It's pretty much an exothermic reaction, Ms. Swanson, because you're releasing the heat. The heat is released. Just like with the chocolate, the wet chocolate acted as a cooling system. Thank you. <laughs> Take this, David Oxygen. Oh. No, you traitors! Oh, no. No. Incoming! What's a fluorine? It's a hydrogen bomb! Oh, this is the diffusion code. What is the empirical formula of a molecule containing 65.5 carbon, 5.5 hydrogen, and 29 oxygen? You already set it up. You got uh, 65.5 grams divided by the molar mass of carbon. Same with hydrogen, same with oxygen. Okay, divide by the smallest number. Three, so it's C3H3. Oh, one. That's right. Yes, diffused it. That's chemistry for you. I have to go get those traitors for what they did to me in my house. I'm gonna put a harder empirical form on there. Fine, I'm out. Fine, we're not hydrogen bros anymore. I'm going off. We're not H2 anymore. I'm just H1. All right. <laughs>
that's chemistry.